So when it comes to playing RPGs with different classes, my favorite class to play above all, no matter what game it is, normally is some sort of spellcaster. Most of the time I'm a mage, a few times I've been like a warlock slash necromancer, but in general I just love using staves, using magic, and also using wands. Well, it's no different here for me in Enshrouded, as my favorite class to play again relates to using the, the magic elements in the game. And one of the biggest things you rely on as a magic user is unfortunately the mana. As you guys can see in the top left hand side, you have the blue mana bar right below your health bar. And with that being said, welcome back to the channel survivors. Today we're going to be diving back into Enshrouded and I'm going to show you guys where to find the best ring when it comes to mana regeneration and it's almost infinite mana. Like I'm telling you, by the time you shoot the first shot, you will already have your mana regenerated back for you. It's insane. Alrighty, so to find and locate the ring, we're going to open up our map. We're going to zoom out and where we actually need to head is the ancient spire the revelwood one all right so we're going to go ahead and head there now Alrighty, so upon arriving here we're actually going to set our compass to south we're going to go ahead and uh, make our way to the south portion of the ancient spire we're going to go over here to the corner and uh, where we're actually going to head if we open up the map we do a little bit of a zoom in here we're actually going to go south a little bit and we're going to actually head over here to willow crush and that actually is going to be that village here as you can see that building in the distance where my wand is shooting off uh, the best way to go if it in my opinion is i don't think the ancient spire is actually high enough um, unless if you're going to cross over here I think uh, I don't think you can make it this direction all the way over. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to take the safe route. Be sure before you do, you get your stamina bar increased, everything, you know, eat your buffs, do all that stuff so you uh, have a longer flight. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and take off. What we're going to do is we're actually going to fly, like I said, on the edge of this canyon. So you'll see what I'm talking about here in a second. I'll kind of fly over it. You see the edge of the canyon here. We don't want to drop down into that canyon. We actually want to just follow along the wall for safe travel, of course. I mean, you can do whatever you wish, but for me, we're gonna go ahead and uh, run around here. Alrighty, so once you get to about right here, you will see there is a bridge that we actually have to cross. And yes, there are NPCs on this bridge. Um, however, keep in mind that you can actually run right past them if you do not wish to fight anybody. There are some really strong green guys. So just watch out for those dudes. They hurt if you get hit by those bad boys, but. We're going to go ahead and jump straight across here. If you don't have jump, double jump, uh, then you might uh, struggle a little bit, but you should be fine. You should be able to get yourself onto something. Fly over here if you can. This is just simply the fastest way to get here. So anyways, once we're here into Willow Crush, as you can see, there is another uh, spot right here. Let me kill these bees here first. But there's going to be another rebel or rebel spot right here. As you can see, there are some NPCs in the distance, so just be careful. But uh, anyways, we're going to go ahead and dig right here. And this is going to be how we find the location of literally, in my opinion, the best ring for magic users in the game. And I'll show you guys why in a second. All right, where's the dead body here at? There he is right there. You see the skull and bones right there that we can search? That is a dead body that is actually placed underneath here. So if we search that, this is going to be the ring we're looking for, the Ring of Rhapsody. All right, so the first one it says is minus 20 mana, which does not sound very good, but then you've got plus 20 mana regeneration. And when I say this ring is nasty, bro, it is nasty. All right, so let's go ahead, pull out our stav, and uh, let's show you this mana regeneration and how it works. So currently right now I have one ring on. Let's go ahead and unequip it. So we're going to go ahead and unequip that ring. All right. So right now we have nothing equipped in our ring slot. As you can see in the top left hand side, focus on the um, how fast my mana regeneration is and how, you know, what it's doing. It takes a while to, 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 to reset, doesn't it? You can see we just now have, I believe, one, one more shot off. So we go ahead and use it. Yeah. Okay. So as you can see, can't use it. You, tell you have to have so many ticks and it takes a while for it to recharge. So now watch this. Now now watch this. If I actually equipped the ring of Rhapsody here, we're going to go ahead and put one of those on. Again, that gives us plus 20 mana regeneration. Watch this. Look how fast that bad boy is regeneration, regenerating. Watch this. By the time you do one attack, look at this. Boom. One attack's back up and ready to go. Boom. One attack's up and ready to go. Like, it's ridiculous. All right. So let me show you another one. 
if you go ahead and actually do this twice because you can see that I've ran this you know found both of the rings here that ring will always be from that same chest we're gonna go ahead and equip that one on here as well and watch this watch how fast two rings plus 40 mana regeneration is because they do stack look at this look at this dude oh it's so crazy and the nice part about it is is that even though you are getting minus 40 mana it literally doesn't make a difference when you start eating the right food to buff your mana even further i honestly think when it comes to gear that you can wear in and shrouded especially for magic users this is honestly the best ring that you can put on i do have other rings that i have discovered over time like the commander's ring from killing one of the bosses that does give you plus 30 mana which sure is nice because it does increase your mana bar but in general though I think it's more important that you have that regen because that regen allows you to just simply get more shots off in a shorter amount of time compared to having a larger mana pool where you simply are left waiting for your mana to regenerate and if you guys are relying on a staff build and maybe you're not running a wand for instance or a you know backup weapon you could be left there hanging waiting and just getting smacked left and right until you generate enough mana to pop off more shots also it's important to note that you can farm this ring over and over again at least to get two for yourself and then more if you've got more players playing with you that also rely on the mana resource all you have to do is go to that area dig up the corpse loot the ring and then either reload the game or just simply phase out for like 30 minutes or whatever the reset timer is go back to the area dig it up again and that ring will continue to respawn there i really find it crazy how strong this ring is with this perk even though it is a green item typically you think the best items in the game would be of legendary quality and that's just simply not the case here when it comes to the best ring for mana regeneration inside of enshrouded as always guys that's going to wrap up the video for me today just a short and sweet one i really wanted to show you guys where this ring is because it makes a world of difference if you guys are playing a magic class as always guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe here on the channel for everything enshrouded related don't forget i do have a discord if you are interested in joining and checking that out i have almost 7,000 members for our, a variety of survival games we would love to have you you can find that link down below in the description with that being said though guys as always have a great day and i will see you all on the next one